Good morning, everyone. Bill and Carrie with KB Tricks. Good morning. Where are we at, hon? We are in Cabo San Lucas today. And what's going on? We're going whale watching. Whale watching? Yep. Okay. Well, we have that beautiful Cabo. It's just beautiful. Look at that back yeah, there. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I can't wait to go aboard. So uh, we're going to go there. We have an interesting thing. We first we're tendering in, which means uh, if you saw our other video when we were in. Uh, Ensenada. Ensenada, we take a, sh a bottle, a bottle, a, a, a bottle. bottle. I was combining boat and shuttle. We take a boat and shuttle. A bottle. <laughs> yeah, there we go, a bottle. It's a butt. I know what that is. Oh, oh, Sandy Plankin saw one. He called, he said it was called a, a butt. To, uh, to shore, we're not on a pier. So we got that, but then our check-in time for the whale watching is? 11.30. And right now it's about 9.30, I think, so. We got uh, some time um, to go get some breakfast. Maybe we'll go to show early and uh, check out some things before we have to meet on the pier for our check-in. But come along, let's go figure this all out together. Breakfast. Breakfast first. I went to Cabanas for breakfast, and just so you're aware, Cabanas could be a real zoo. Uh, that again. And much of the only city we could find was outside off the back. But we're not complaining because it is just beautiful out here. Look at this view. Little sandy beach over there. And just, you know, I'm not gonna complain. We finished our breakfast at uh, Cabana's and we just uh, went out to go fill our water bottle before going to our chicken tender. And the view just caught us attention so we decided to go to deck 10 to go take a look at Cabo. Let's go take a little walk around uh, the front of the ship, see what we see. Good time to come down to the family pool. Very few people in here now. I walk to the forward of the ship. Again, this is the Wild World of Sports deck. Uh, you can play basketball. You also have some foosball tables and ping pong tables up here for, uh, you know, you can play at any time. Uh, here comes the uh, front of the ship. Beautiful view off the front of the ship here. Amazing. Who's this? Uh, that's, uh, that's Celebrity. That's Celebrity Cruise Line over there. Same thing. They have to tender in. Get up the front of the ship. This is not open to the public. This is a pool area for cast members only. Uh, so they got their own pool and they can lounge out here on their own time, get away from the guests. Uh, I think the Magic and the Wonder are the only two ships that have this kind of area available to the, to the crew. Um, they can really only use it during the day because with lights on, it interrupts the bridge. Oh, that's unfortunate, uh, but when you're designing a ship for the first time, you don't know these things. But just a beautiful view. And we're gonna head down to the tender in a moment to go to shore. What do you think, hon? It's beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. I'm ready to go watch some whales. Is this technically an island or part of the mainland? What is Cabo? I think it's part of the mainland. I think Cancun, or not Cancun, I think Cozumel is the only like island, but I'm not sure. So if you look at the blue dot there on my map, we are at the very tip of uh, the peninsula for uh, the west side of Mexico, which may be the farthest south Carrie and I has ever been. Before we can get off the ship, we needed a tinder uh, ticket, so to speak. So. We all met a meeting in the uh, Walt Disney Theater and these are all the people that are going to go ashore that don't have excursions or excursions that meet on the ship. We had to get our sticker here first so that we can get off the ship. And now we're just waiting until they uh, tell us where to go. Hey, we got our number called and now we're going to go to the tender. We're going to go through security and we have to give them our key to the world card. And we're on the tender. We got a seat up near the front of the boat. Just so beautiful down here. Nice view. I mean, look at that beautiful view right there. I tell you what, isn't it gorgeous? Just, you can see for miles and miles in those eyes. All right, they just put uh, the uh, little gangway away and I think we're gonna shove off here in a second. Bunch of activity out there today with all the boats. They're out there enjoying the beautiful weather too. Very cloudless out today. Hey, here we go. We're starting to pull away from the ship and we're on our way to port. Over there, we got like a pirate ship or something. Oh, and coming into view here is a 
some sort of a shuttle or a, um, tour boat and a beautiful view of the ship as we pull away. As we're getting closer to the shore, we get a better view of the Celebrity Solstice, which is in uh, port with us today. The ship's a little bit taller. I think about the same length, or approximately looks like. Neither care, I have been on uh, other cruise ships other than Disney, so it's always interesting to see uh, what the ships look like, at least from a distance. As we head in, a little bit of boat traffic up here. Uh, just wow, some of these boats are uh, massively like yachts. From here at the peak here, they got like a beach, kind of behind that rock wall there. Uh, a couple of restaurants up by the beach line. Uh, and port here, just a lot of, uh, a lot of boats in here. Bunch of pelicans just uh, taking rest in these little boats. Check out the size of this yacht here. Yeah, you might want to move. Jeez. They're coming like right for us. Yeah, look at the size of that yacht. And then off the side of that pirate ship we saw uh, a few minutes ago. Get a closer view of that. Get a much better view now of uh, the hills and uh, houses built on them. And this marina is just so packed full of boats. We're going through the docking process, so just another minute or two until we can go ashore. Um, we were hearing something sound like a seal nearby. So sorry, sea lion nearby. There you go, correcting me again. Yes. Someone's got to do it. Yes. As we get off the tender, we can see where all that uh, commotion was from the sea lions. There's just a bunch of them hanging out on this one corner of the pier. <laughs> Yeah, they're kind of loud. One just went in the water. This is where we check in for our port adventures at the pier. It's right off of the uh, uh, tender, which is over there. So we pretty much walk over here and it's right up at the entrance. We found the check-in. Our excursion doesn't start until 11.30. It's about 10 after right now, so they said to just go explore and come back at 11.30. They're not doing any early check-ins. Oh, all the panels of power. We're walking out to the market. Uh, we're just with the security where they checked our bags, make sure we didn't have any fruits or vegetables or anything taken on board. Got a lot of people here uh, trying to sell their little excursions. And uh, we got about 20 minutes just kind of wandering, looking around. Uh, the market's really busy with uh, people trying to ex get you to go on their excursions or take photos with their iguanas. It is very beautiful out here. Uh, we just got a few more minutes to wander before we have to go check in. Don't know where we're going. We're just walking. Definitely a piece of advice if you want to go up on the sub sidewalk here. So that's the main where the, all the boats are. Up here, there's a lot of fewer people. Okay, bring us up to speed. All right, we got checked in. We are in the Pocahontas group. So we're standing by our Pocahontas paddle of power and waiting to move on. This boat here, they caught a fish. The guy in the dock there is holding it. Met up with our tour guide and now we're following them to uh, the boat that they're going to take us out whale watching. There we go. Now we're going to get up close and personal with the pelican here. Oh, you don't have to leave on our account. Okay, and here is our chariot as it awaits for us. Okay, we got our uh, life jackets on. Ready to go. Get some whales. There's our uh, tour guide. 
They're gonna talk us through things as we go. Headed out to sea, and from here you can see the uh, the ships that are in port. Of course, uh, the Disney Wonder off to the right and to the left, uh, Celebrity Solstice, and uh, very close to the water, very low. <laughs> you can see, see that. <laughs> and feeling the waves. Up to the right is a pretty tall hill and at the base is some sandy beaches. There we can see the wonder off in the distance. And we all, amigos, remember if you're in Cabo, do not have picture in the arch, they will not believe you were here. <laughs> Ahead of us is the Arch of Cabo. Uh, guy was just saying that people used to be able to walk under there until a hurricane in 2014 uh, kind of messed things up and washed a lot of the uh, under parts away. There you go, there's the arch. A lot better to see now, now that we turn. They just warned us we're gonna go into pretty much warp speed here in a second. Uh, telling us to all hang on and get ready for a ride. You ready to go to light speed? Yep. They've gone to plan. All right, here we go. You just heard the engines uh, warm up. Oh, gotta high up, our nose is kind of high up in the water. See that? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's really busy out here. I wonder if there's uh, all these people out here whale watching too or what. But I feel like we got some air as we were flying. Oh, ho, ho. Like a roller coaster at Valley Fair. <laughs> Got air once or twice there, pretty good. Uh -huh. Alright, Chamillos, uh, we're gonna remain right here for a few minutes and see how these wells gonna be working, of course. Right? With this I mean we're gonna see like if it's active, if it's coming out constantly, or something like that. We've been noticed every time we come out here, we check their time, and we've have noticed that. These whales come out every five or ten minutes to breathe when they're calm. So they're saying that they might have breached the water uh, straight ahead. So we're just kind of looking for uh, whales to kind of surface. We're just sitting here waiting. To... All right, so it looks like we have some humpback whales right here. Very easy to identify, my friends. These are also known as acrobatic whale because of all the breaching, spinning, tail throwing they can make. So we'll see, we'll see how uh, this whale is going to be doing out here, if it's going to start active or not. Big tail! There we go. We saw the tail. The female had a small breach a over there. Example. It's so, uh, 12 o'clock. Oh my gosh. Go. Uh, we're going to spin our boat lightly. There you go. It's going to be remaining at your uh, 1 o'clock. We're still spinning at 2 o'clock. That was right over there. Stays at 1. And, oh, that's a baby. Penny. All right, but there's a different one though. That's not the same group. Coming out. Three, two, one. Yay. Oh, there we are. <laughs> now I see it. Coming out, Mama. Boom. There she is. Oh, oh, oh. And baby. You can see the big difference, right? There you go. Three, two, one. There we are. Oh. There she is. From Alaska to Cabo. Going back will be the same thing, but oh, not specifically to Cabo. You see it right there? Oh, little petrol pin. It's saying hola to you guys. Hola. I want to see Mama's picture. Oh, there we go. Look. There she is. See that? 
Ron, so remember I told you about the pigmentation on their fins, right? You know the pigmentation of this one? They have white on both parts. I'm pretty sure that Mama will be the same. Nice. It's either a nurse well or oh, there we are. the S cult. An S cult on girls, of course. But our science have it studied like psychologic pregnancy. Uh, I invite you guys to wonder at home. If you search for psychologic pregnancy, you'll see what I'm talking about, my friend. Nice. Uh, but if you see this in one of your future vacations, you're extremely lucky, my friend. So now, why is this the big problem of energy? And let me tell you that when oh. the mothers starts to go back at the ending of our season, they are lost in the water. They don't have breasts like humans. They are. And they do not have lips to suck. So they swallow. Now the mother's milk will have the texture like toothpaste. So the baby will start feeding it for us. It's probably cold. It could be around 62 oh. uh, Fahrenheit, which is chilly. But it can be for us warm around their 70s, 70, 70, like 75 Fahrenheit whales. And this is exactly those areas that the water's not too cold not too warm yes, and you have a yeah, baby baby coming out oh, oh no mama Mama's Breach, come on, Mama's Breach. Nine o'clock! There we go. There we go. Aye. Opa! Oh. Oh. Ooh, where's Mama? Oh, oh. Mama's That's still very there. Close. Mama's right next to us, too. That's very close. Mama's right next to you guys. A little far now. Not. Oh! oh yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Nice. We got the best vibes in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! Thank you again. <laughs> nice. Send your vibrations. <laughs> Good vibes. Nice. Uh, oh! difference yeah. <laughs> oh my god yay <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right so we're gonna sit down we're gonna go to the other side yeah, so the sun cannot block it oh Look at, look at the green. Oh. Woo, right by the boat. Little baby. Uh -huh. That's right. I can Get do that, it. Mom. I can do that. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're heading back in, and uh, we're getting a lot more uh, of uh, waves that we're heading and getting splashed with. I think it's on my way left. <laughs> okay, then there should be one kind of in between all these boats here. Cabo, Puerto Vallarta, and Hawaii in the same five months of the season. Oh, wow. there she is. Wow. Oh, that's big. Yeah, wow. Cool. All right. Wow. Coming out, three, two, one. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's huge. All the tooth whales, like the sperm whales, and all the dolphins, which are tooth Oh, very tiny. Here comes the big one. And there it is. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow, beautiful. Still there.
How's it going? You got the whale call. Yes, it sounds like yeah. uh, sounds like it. Oh, oh. 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 tail. Oh. Okay. So this is the hydrophone. You're probably, I don't know, thinking it was something very technological or super extremely big. This is the real bad boy. This is the hydrophone. We'll dip this into the water and with some luck, we might hear some whales singing underwater, okay? This can reach a distance of at least a mile, but you can hear a whale from three miles of distance, of course. They're very loudy. They are on our way back in. Uh, one more in our face with the, the uh, waves coming at us. We found another whale. Now, when they stick out their tail, my friends, we have two options. We can be amazed, surprised by a huge breach. Or number two, we can be amazed by how much long they can take underwater. What do you see, hon? His pectoral fin, it was huge. He was like flapping it like he was waving at us. Going past the Disney Wonder. Can they just drop us off now? We're coming back into dock. Just a real buzz of activity around here. Lots of boats left and right. I'm glad I'm not driving. We just got off the boat right here from our excursion for whale watching. What did you think? Honey? That was so oh, much fun. Oh, that was amazing. We got to watch it. it were, actually, most of the whales we saw, we saw mother and baby pods. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. And like one, at one point, the baby was getting like super playful and yeah. splashing around. And it was really cute. I think we saw at least three full grown whales. Yes. Possibly a fourth one. Um, and at least three babies. Yeah. Uh, there was two in one group and one in another group. So that was, but it was amazing. And uh, wow, just fun. Like, I'm so glad we got to do that. I will show some still photos uh, in the video here so you can see some of those, uh, but just really cool. I'm so glad was, we did that. That was so cool. This was, this was like my all time, like when we booked this cruise and I heard we were going to Cabo, I'm like, we're whale watching. And like, I knew like that was all I cared about was whale watching. And I'm so glad we got to do it. Do you remember the details on this? Uh, I just saw it was an excursion through Disney. I, it was like a hundred, it was, I, I was, be, I can't remember how much it was. I know it was over a hundred, less than two. Was it worth it? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> That was, yeah, 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 amazing. Loved it, loved it yeah. so much. What should we do? I say we go back on the ship and get some lunch. Okay. Ah! I was kind of walking down the dock. You can see all these uh, boats that are going out on excursions for tours and everything. It's very busy, very busy at this marina. Looking for a way to get back on the ship. Uh, this is line for a celebrity for their tender. And, uh, we got dropped off farther up, past the sea lines. Here's where we check in, it's very nice. You can get some water over here. And they also have some cool towels to wipe yourself off, which is great, because we got all this sea uh, salt water over our face and uh, forearms and legs from our excursion. They checked our room key cards and they're telling us what tender to go on. There's the sea lines we saw. Uh, from before, can't get as close, but uh, that's where they're all hanging out. Here we go, coming up to the ship. Kind of dock at a moment. You're welcome. All right, we're back on the ship. End of our day here at Cabo. At beautiful, beautiful. Just well, not really the end of our day in Cabo. Just we're no longer we're no longer on Cabo. We're but we're still at. Cabo. We have a very long afternoon ahead of us. Semantics. <laughs> anyway, we're back on the ship. Yes. There we go. So, uh, just a beautiful day in Cabo. Uh, the whale washing, just amazing. Amazing. Just, oh, I'm so glad we did it's that. It's warm, it's sunny, it's like perfect weather today. Yeah, so we'll be doing it all again. Oh, definitely. That was a lot of fun. But actually, I mean, to be honest, there are a lot of different excursions here that look like fun. So, yeah. 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 But definitely, if you 
you've never done whale watching before, if it's something you're interested in, definitely do it. It Very was amazing. Yeah. So we want to thank you for joining us. Please do a favor to subscribe. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribers, so help us flip that number and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. But for now, we are going to go and continue our day here in Cabo, even though we're on the ship. Da, 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 da. To, what's ahead? Tonight is? Tonight is Pirate Night. Pirate Night, so Pirate Menu, Pirate Show. We missed that last time because it was so, so windy cold. and cold. So we're planning on going to But hopefully, again, the weather is gorgeous, so hopefully we'll have great weather for yeah. it this evening. Looking forward to it. Yeah. So, I want to thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. If you watch Keep Your Tricks, please do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Time. Until then, good luck and have fun. See ya. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, did you notice now the big difference? <laughs> yeah. oh! oh my god! Yeah!